dear students, I am Srani Hashmat, your social studies teacher. You are totally missed. Please follow the rules in order to be safe and sound. Today we're going to continue our new lessons in the fourth quarter. Last time we took Mesopotamia, the civilization of Iraq. Today we're going to take ancient Egypt. What's meant by ancient? Ancient means very old. We are going to talk about Egypt in the past. Let's start. But before we start, we have to remember some important information. The difference among decade, century, and millennium. A decade is 10 years, century is 100 years, and a millennium is 1,000 years. Last time we took a the definition of civilization and we said that it's a large group of people living in a well-organized way. In other words, the level of development at which people live together peacefully in communities. We said before that to have a civilization, people had to find a source of fresh water so as to settle down and grow crops. In Mesopotamia, we have two important rivers. They are the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. In Egypt, we have the river, uh, uh, the Nile River, which is the longest in the world. So people or ancient Egyptians depended on the Nile River. What about, what do you know about ancient Egypt? Where is Egypt? Egypt is in Africa, and Africa is the second largest continent in the world, and its capital is Cairo. What about Mesopotamia? Where is Mesopotamia? It is in Asia, and it's Iraq nowadays, and its capital is Baghdad, and of course don't forget that Asia is the first largest continent in the world. Ancient Egypt. The ancient civilization of Egypt is known for its pyramids. The Egyptian pyramid is a tomb or a burial place for a, ki a dead king or queen. Have you visited the, the pyramids in Giza? These pyramids were built as tombs for, or burial places for a dead king or queen. What's meant by tomb? A tomb is a place where a dead person is buried. And the word pharaoh, it's an equivalent word for king, but in, uh, in ancient Egypt, we call the king a pharaoh. Let's move to the pyramids. What are the names of the three pyramids in Giza? The Great Pyramid is called Cheops, and the second one is called Kephren, and the third one was called Messirinus. So these are the three, the names of the three pyramids uh, at Giza Plateau. The Great Pyramid was built about 4,500 years for an Egyptian pharaoh or a king named Khufu. So Khufu is Cheops, it's another name for him. It was about 147 meters high and it took more than 20 years to be built. Exactly, it took 23 years to be built. The Great Pyramid is the largest of the three pyramids in Giza and the stones were too heavy the smallest weighs about 2.6 tons, and the heaviest weighs more than 18.6 tons. And a ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. It's very important to mention that, that there, are, there is no one who knows how this or these pyramids were built. There is no fixed theory to tell exactly how the pyramids were built. 
Let's move to the Sphinx. The Sphinx is a statue beside the Great Pyramid. So, the statue is situated near the Great Pyramid in Giza. Uh, it's about 73 meters long and 20 meters high. The Sphinx is a statue with the head of a human and the body of a lion. Having a head of human, it's a symbol for thinking and a body of a lion, this shows strength. So, the construction of this statue was or to show uh, other people that ancient Egyptians uh, depended on thinking and they are so powerful as a symbol uh, because of uh, the body of the line. That's for today and thank you.